the ability to put information uh, on computer systems and communicate it very, very easily and cheaply everywhere uh, has a number of enormous uh, implications. If you look at this at the broad scale, it does away with geography. As you start moving communications online, distance doesn't matter as much. As companhias de informática preveem uma aldeia global interativa ligada por fibras óticas digitais de alta velocidade. Os avanços na comunicação de dados têm sido alcançados por diferentes indústrias. Os líderes entre eles são as gigantes dos cabos, como a Telecommunications Incorporated. What's really driving all of these businesses together uh, is digital technology. Because for the first time, it's possible to think about doing over one transmission path, uh, video, data, narrowband, broadband. When you send information from one point to another, you want some measure of information. For the stuff that's very, very small amount of information per time, like Morse code or typing, they would call that narrow band. The analogy being to the width of the pipe it would take to pour it down, like you were sending water or something. Whereas if you're sending enormous amounts of information, millions and millions of bits per second, as you need to have for video, that's usually called broadband. Today, the way broadband information comes into your home is television for most people. And one of the reasons that that's been cost effective and that it's in all of our homes is that we all get the same damn signal. Now, in the future, what we're going to be able to do, we'll have a wire that comes in your home. And once you have that uh, cable coming in, you now are going to be able to get your own video feeds. If you want to have the kids call grandma or send them a little multimedia project they did in school, they'll be able to send that. It'll be the second information revolution. And as it spans geography, as it leverages our ability to create things, uh, as it changes how we are able to access the world, I think it's going to be positive. But even if you don't agree with that, I think you should agree that it'll be dramatic. Os projetistas de computador estão o tempo todo melhorando a interação homem-máquina. Hoje, eles querem ir além do menu e criar um espaço de informação que pareça e seja sentido como um espaço tridimensional real. A primeira implementação desse sistema é o MedCap Software. No Motorola Zenvoy, em vez de uma lista de programas, você vê uma escrivaninha de desenho. Abra uma lista telefônica. Aponte para uma porta e entre em uma sala de arquivo.